Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's been a hot minute, but uh, you know, I've been enjoying having some time off after the Wheel of Time Season 1 finale to collect my thoughts and just kind of process everything that happened. The show's finally here, Season 1's over, we're in the longing for Season 2, so I figured this is a good time to just kind of stop, take a break, reflect on everything that's going on. I'm currently re-watching the season in preparation for a Season 1 overall review video. Hopefully that'll be coming soon. Uh, we'll see how that keeps going. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump back into the swing of things with yet another Wheel of Time Metal reaction video. Today's video is brought to us by a band called Aeons Enthroned. Uh, they are a power metal band featuring now uh, Sozos Michael, who is the uh, replacement singer for Glory Hammer. So yeah, these guys are, I think they're going to blow up uh, given, given who their singer is. So yeah, this is pretty crazy. Uh, anyway, uh, one of their members is in my Discord server and he has turned me on to a single they've just released or a new video uh, entitled Banes of Gold. Now, full disclosure, I've listened to a few of their songs and I've already bought this album, but I have not listened to this one. So this is going to be raw, fresh reaction uh, here with all of you. So let's just kind of kick back, relax, and get into this together. So hard, it's, getting hard to breathe. it's got that nice ballad sound right here at the beginning. Like it. Such a great vocalist. Getting some some dream theater vibes like uh, Metropolis Part Two. I just want to stop right here and just comment that uh, I really like this kind of ballad intro that they're doing here. Uh, I think it fits with thematically overall with what's happening uh, with Rand in Veins of Gold. And uh, yeah, this is just kind of, they're, they're really trying to capture, I think, that, that internal struggle that's happening in that chapter. Uh, I mean, it's one of the best, one of the best chapters of the entire series. So uh Putting, putting your own musical spin to that is no easy endeavor. And I think so far, we're only uh, a minute and 44 into the song, but I think that they are already doing a really good job. The tone in production is is really good. And I, I mean, I'm pretty sure that these guys are doing it self-produced, so that's really impressive. 
now we're getting to the metal. Drop the ballad completely and now we're into full on the power metal. From the choice I take it in. From the true source I see yes. In which it torrents cause it wild. Inside I feel the power. A storm of light inside his face. The innocent mess not embrace. This is awesome. Enough to bring an ending. Here we go. Oof. That's awesome. That's so good. Oof. Put the steak face on now. These lyrics are really on point, too. They're very good. God. I mean, there's a reason he got picked for Glory Hammer, and I think that's fully on display in this song. Yes. I just want to stop right here and comment on like the last like three and a half minutes we just got through. Oh boy, that was, that is intense. I really like it. Uh, first off, I mean, full disclosure, I think most of y'all know this. I'm a huge power metal fan and nerd. So this is already ticking like all of the boxes for that. Uh, and uh, just, it's even better because their production quality for this is this is all like self-produced i'm assuming i'm not sure if they've sent this off to dump, be done professionally or if they're doing it themselves but uh i'll i'll get that info and let you know but it's very good quality it is i, I mean self-production if you do it by yourself runs the danger of sounding self-produced which if you're going for that totally totally understand that's an aesthetic all on its own but in power metal, uh, typically you're going for as clean of a sound as possible because there's a lot of technical skill on display uh, in terms of like the composition and then how that's executed uh, in the musicianship and so on and so forth. So the fact that they've got this production this clean is just phenomenal. I'm, I'm digging it. Also, the guitar tones, not over the top, not overdone, fits in perfectly in the mix. Uh, Y'all know I'm a, I'm a guitar player, I'm a nerd, so uh, absolutely loving how everything is sitting so far. It's just the other problem with power metal typically is that it runs the danger of sounding too thin uh, because it is very melodic and treble heavy, and I think they've avoided this trap here, to be completely honest. The mix sounds really well balanced, um, and oh, I'm just... Everything about this so far is fantastic. Now, getting into the actual like compositions we've heard so far, they're they're doing a lot of very power metally kind of uh, you know tropey things with in terms of the composition, which is not a bad thing. But uh, you know, if you're not used to listening to power metal, uh, it takes a lot of elements from classical music in regards. So you'll find some harmonic structures that are very similar to. Uh, the ways classical music will make moves in their interval in their intervals and so on and so forth so yeah it's just 
they're they're adding those little flourishes in those little those little they're adding those little flourishes in without like overpowering the primary goal of the composition which is to sound as epic as possible and reflect this chapter from the books so so far i think they're succeeding on every front i'm loving it and uh the lyrics by the way it it is really easy when you write songs based upon existing fantasy works uh to have them come off super cheesy right i think everyone's heard some songs like that before um however fortunately it seems that with the wheel of time we typically don't see that uh in a lot of the music that is produced about the show or about the books you know and I think we're very fortunate as a fandom uh, in that regard because without it, you know, if the lyrics are bad, a lot it's going to turn a lot of people off, and they're not they don't have that here. They're keeping it very much to kind of it's it's they're they're not just giving us a summary. They're kind of using the lyrics to read into Rand's struggle uh, and and comment on it a little bit within the song. So that is fantastic. Anyway, uh, that's enough of me rambling right now, and it's rambling. So let's go ahead and get back into the song. We've still got quite a bit to go. So is this okay. Bring it back down. Both burning sword and sheltering hand. Mm-hmm. The power to unmake a land. The song is very dynamic. It's not just all on, and it's not just all like super, super ballady. Love it. Here's the orchestral part, which is. You want a way to hook me in a song? Have an have an orchestral part. Yes. Also, just have dueling guitar solos. That's another way to really hook me into this song. And extra points for PC Ridge. This entire section. It's this is this is me. This is like my personality almost. Back into the chorus. Yes, yes. I love that they worked that line. Oh, 
Oh, it's so good. was epic that was phenomenal oof, oof. give it just a second <sighs> all right so that was nine minutes and 34 seconds of pure freaking power metal gold oh my god i absolutely loved every second of that song all i have to say is i hope you guys make it big for real because that that's one of the finest power metal songs that I've heard in quite some time. It's just phenomenal. After my own heart too with the subject matter. So I, I clearly I, I am already predisposed to like the song because it is about the wheel of time, but I mean if the if the underlying music was not to my liking then I wouldn't be I wouldn't be as ecstatic about it. Uh oh God, it's just it was so good. So good. Oh, that ending, just where I, I perfectly captured Rand's epiphany on Dragon Mount. His his Zen moment, as everyone likes to say. He, uh, yes, that's. I'm going to reread that chapter and listen to this song. I hope. One one thing, because it would be kind of hard, and I loved the vocals, but it would be kind of hard to read the chapter while the vocals are going on. So I would implore them to release an instrumental version so folks can read the chapter along with the song. I think that would be really cool, but don't don't take that as like, oh, I didn't, I love the vocals. Sozos is chef's kiss, but. Oh, it's just so good. Oh, I'm really. I mean, I'm really at a loss for like words about how much. I think this song truly captured the essence, at least for me, in that chapter, because this is this is the kind of musical motifs and things that run through my head. Uh, when I was reading them, right? Like I'm sure, I'm sure I'm not the only one who does this. Like I, I like when I read music to the background of what's happening, uh, is 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 going through my head, whether or not it's pre-existing music or stuff, just melodies that are coming up in my head as I'm reading. So I don't know if other people do this, uh, but that's definitely something that's always present when I'm reading. Uh, is is a soundtrack or background music and. Yeah, this this may be the new soundtrack, the new background music for that chapter. Anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed sitting here listening to Veins of Gold for the first time by Eons on Throne. Uh, if you want to check out more of their music, I'll have a link to their channel down below, as well as their band camp if you would like to go purchase their album. They have a number of Wheel of Time inspired songs as well as Stormlight Archive inspired songs so I really implore you if you are a fan of those book series and a fan of heavy metal go check them out go check them out even if you aren't a fan of heavy metal because just with the subject matter I find that a lot of folks will be more you know inclined to like it even if it's not their favorite genre of music right so uh anyway this has been a fantastic uh, little outing here to get back into the swing of the channel. I uh, really appreciate it if you stuck with me to the end here. If you want to support what I do here, uh, check the Patreon down in the link below. Follow me on social media, Twitter and Instagram at Red Hand Bard. Check out my Facebook page, The Bar of the Red Hand. And if you want to come chat with me about heavy metal and the Wheel of Time, I'll have a link to the Discord server down in the comments below, or down in the description below, not comments. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.